Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness, a smart, sustainable, and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for older dudes. So today, I want to talk to you guys about why I quit Taekwondo. Um, Taekwondo, let me start by saying that it's the, it's the martial art with the most beautiful and powerful kicks. Okay? Now, that being said, um, I practiced Taekwondo for three years, from the age of um, 16 until 19. And about halfway through, um, I, would, I think I was 17 at that time, so we were sparring in, in, in class and everyone was sparring. You know, we, we got paired off and then we just went at it. Uh, it wasn't a full out sparring with uh, chest protector and headgear. It was just, uh, you know, we were just in our uniforms and let's go. So it was light, it was light sparring. So I was getting, I was paired up with this older guy. I think he might have been 25 to 30 years old at that time. And he was tall, man. I'm only 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, that dude was like fucking 6'2". Stuff like that. So I was getting the better of him. I was scoring a lot. And then he got pissed and he punched me in the fucking face, man. So he punched me in the face and... I couldn't do nothing about it because one, I didn't know what to do, and two, well, you know, I was uh, I was a little bit intimidated. I was scared, right? And of course, I cried, and you know, I was uh, I didn't know what the fuck to do, and that really that really pissed me off, and that really like uh, stayed with me for a long time. So, in the class, there was actually another. Um, Another student, he was an adult also, this really big dude, and he grabbed the guy, brought him outside, talked to him, and, uh, you know, nobody stood up for me at that club, you know, except my friends, but my friends were, like, fucking young, too. They were my age, you know, or maybe even a little bit younger, uh, slightly younger, and so, like, what's a bunch of kids going to do to a fucking full-grown uh, uh, full uh, adult, you know, a grown-ass uh, adult? So that was kind of fucked up. And then from there, um, I continued until I was 19. 19, I started going out and shit, so, you know, fuck that. And then, but that night, that night that uh, when I came home, I was thinking to myself, I got to learn how to fight, you know? And Taekwondo, it, it, it wasn't useful for that. Like, I got punched in the face, and I didn't know what the fuck to do about it, you know? So I was like, what the fuck am I learning here? I'm learning how to kick and shit, but fuck, I can't even... Uh, you know, I couldn't stand up to this guy. And this guy just punched me in the fucking face. So anyways, that's where the seed was planted in my head that Taekwondo wasn't complete. And I'm not saying that it can't be complete, but the way I was taught it wasn't complete at all. So just because you could kick a guy uh, hard and fast and stuff like that doesn't, well, doesn't mean that, that you'll, you'll, you'll be able to win in a fight. I mean... If you never learn how to defend against a punch, right, and the guy punches you in the face, or let's say he grabs you and he starts punching you, like, it kind of cancels out your Taekwondo there, man. So, you know, it is very good, but it's not complete. Um, if you look at how the guys fight in Taekwondo, like, just go on YouTube, search any, any video, Taekwondo competition, and you'll see that they fight with their hands to their sides and they jump around and then they throw their kicks you know and there, there's a lot of reasons for that you know because of the rules and everything but all that to say that if you train only in taekwondo you're not uh, you're not complete you're not uh, you won't be able to necessarily defend yourself effectively in 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 a, in a altercation Okay, like in my case. So that's what happened to me. It planted the seed, and then from there I went on to do some, uh, uh, to train in self-defense because I actually wanted to learn how to fight. It's, uh, it's kind of a long story, but uh, yeah, that, that kind of fucked me up, and that stayed with me for a long time there. And um, that's why I quit Taekwondo. And one of the other reasons was because my parents were, uh, um, you know, I didn't grow up rich. My parents uh, came here basically on a boat uh, for those... Uh, Vietnamese people, well, you guys probably know what I'm talking about, you know, uh, boat people. So, I mean, money was an issue too. And at this Taekwondo school, I mean, what these, uh, every time that you had a, uh, you had a belt promotion, you had to pay, right? It was a business. And my parents were like, fuck that shit, We're, we ain't paying. You're doing this to 
so that you can learn, so you can be healthy. But if we have to pay for belts, fuck that, it's useless. And also, I wanted to compete, but I never really got to compete in, in, uh, in, in Taekwondo either because my parents were like, fuck that, it costs money. You know, so there was, there was those barriers too. But main, the main reason why I stopped was because I got punched in the face and I couldn't, I did, I couldn't do anything about it. So that fucking sucked. Anyways, uh, just a little side note. Um, one thing I, I want to express to you guys is that I actually, one day, when I open up my school, okay, it's going to be accessible because I think um, martial arts uh, has a lot to offer to 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 young people to adults to older people um and sometimes what what blocks uh, a lot of people is that it's fucking expensive now you know and it's crazy how, how expensive it is it doesn't make any fucking sense and since i've been in judo i've come to realize like man like these olympic sports uh, are much cheaper even though you, you still got to pay a little bit but it's nothing compared to to shit like uh um, Muay Thai or BJJ, I mean, man, these guys are fucking charging crazy amounts, you know? And, and I, 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 you know, people have to make a living. I have nothing against that. I just, I just like to see people, you know, who want to train, who have an interest, not be fucking blocked and compete and not be blocked by, well, fucking money, you know? Um, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe there was something in there that was helpful to you. Like, comment, subscribe, and hey, follow me on Instagram also at OGFitness1979. Yeah, 1979, that's the year I was born. That's why I'm a fucking OG. Older guy. All right, thanks, guys. Peace.